Hello, my name is Szymon Wąsik and I'm a postdoc at the Poznan University of Technology at the Institute of Computing Science. And this is a hamster. Hamster! <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's not an ordinary hamster. It's my scientific assistant. He helps me to find mathematical models that explain how biological systems work. However, let's start from the beginning. Probably everybody knows what Wikipedia is, but probably much less people know that it was created using the technique called crowdsourcing. The Wikipedia itself defines a crowdsourcing as outsourcing work to a large network of people in the form of an open call. And this is exactly how Wikipedia works. Large network of people, consisting of all internet users all over the world, can freely extend it every day. This creates one of the most important achievements of the internet era, the biggest encyclopedia in the world. Nevertheless, the concept of crowdsourcing is much older. It was first used in the beginning of the 18th century when British government publicly offered the prize for finding the method for measuring ship's longitude. Since that time, it successfully found numerous other applications. Recently, I've decided to use the crowdsourcing during my bioinformatics research. During my scientific work, I'm investigating human viral infections and I'm searching for models that explain them. Such models usually take the form of mathematical equations or computer programs. Good model can help us a lot in fighting with viruses by helping to find new medicines, vaccines or ways of treatment. And there it is, the hamster's turn. The hamster, as befits true scientific assistant, is very curious. He dreams about visiting new planets and inspecting the farthest ends of the universe. That's why, together with some undergraduate students, we designed a game where players have to design a hypergalactic space for the hamster. However, the game has also additional objective. The spaceship has to be designed very carefully. Its design has to guarantee that it will fly as close to some specific stars as possible. Under the hood, the design of the ship represents the mathematical model and stars represent the data from the biological experiment. Players, by designing spaceship, design as precise model as they can. And they don't have to know the math at all. <clears throat> to make this process more efficient, the game allows to improve solutions designed by other players. This way, we employ the crowd of internet users to solve the important medical problem. Such massive games dedicated to solve scientific problems are often called crowdsourced serious games. In our case, Integration with the Facebook platform allowed us to reach really big number of players. The game was tested by playing almost 10,000 games by several hundred players and it proved to be an efficient way of solving modeling problems. We also compared it to some artificial intelligence algorithms and it also performed significantly better than them. Summarizing, when you next time visit the pharmacy to buy some medicine, remember that the process of designing this medicine could be supported by some smart and very curious hamster.